Well, we have breaking news with Donald J. Trump. You will not believe what he just did. Donald J. Trump is just dropped a bombshell and we are going to cover it. He just basically exposed Fannie Willis and Fannie Willis, this could be the end of this whole case. I mean, this is, things are really heating up and this move that Donald Trump just made, well, it's uh, quite beautiful. So I wanna bring you that. Donald J. Trump is doing some incredible things and looking forward into 2024, this election year, it, it's looking like Trump is going to do so well and he actually just talked about what will happen in 2024. And he talked about his him potentially winning in 2024. His He said it will be legendary. So we are stepping up. Before we jump into the update, what Trump just did, this is breaking news. I wanna pray and read the Bible because God comes first, amen? Common amen if you believe that. This is from the book of Ephesians. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Amen. Comment amen down below. And also, comment down below if you support Donald Trump or if you plan on voting for him in 2024. Uh, well, this year. And I just have to say, I know, I mean, if you watch my show, you kind of hear my language and the way I talk, but I truly do believe that uh, what it says in scripture about how God is raising up leaders and God brings leaders down. And even Mike Johnson came out and said that we are in a Red Sea moment where God is literally, well, I guess more so figuratively, <laughs> Uh, parting the sea to lead the Israelites out of Egypt to lead the people to freedom and quite literally to also um, you know bring God back into our nation and I kind of think that God is choosing Donald Trump and God chose Trump to be a a, a man of God in and give us spirit of hope. And in this Bible verse, I was just picturing Trump um, because I know he's a godly man and he's Christian. You know, he comes out and said that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a Presbyterian. He's like, I go to church on Sundays. And anyways, Trump said, or in scripture, it says, take up the shield of faith, which with you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And for some reason, I just pictured Trump with like a shield of faith and all the arrows like coming at him and Trump's like, oh, I'm fine. Like, because think about what Trump's facing right now. He's got Letitia James, who just ordered over $370 million for Trump and his co-defendants to pay. He's got Alvin Bragg, right, going after him for these hush money payments. He's got Judge Engeron and, well, he's also with Letitia James, so... He's also, and Judge Engron's wife is um, tweeting out images, AI images, uh, hate images, uh, one AI generated image of Trump in jail. And it's like, and then you got Fannie Willis, 
showing up to a charity event for children's toys at Christmas talking about, oh yeah, we're gonna give Trump an appropriate sentence. And have you seen the videos of Letitia James chanting, oh, Trump's craziest days are numbered. I'm like, I just pictured Trump walking around with a shield of faith. Okay, so listen to this, my friends. This, I cannot believe this, but a Trump co-defendant just accused Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis of dating the prosecutor that she hired and asked that she be disqualified from the case. Oh my gosh, it's going downtown for Fannie Willis. Maybe Jim Jordan, um, maybe Fannie Willis should have been nicer to Jim Jordan when he requested those documents. And now Fannie Willis, yeah, it ain't looking too good for her. You know who else it ain't looking too good for? Hillary Clinton, all right? Her name's popping up again in the Epstein court documents. But listen to this, a Trump co-defendant asked that Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis be disqualified and Trump's indictment thrown out. A filing on behalf of Michael Roman alleged Willis was dating a special prosecutor she appointed. One criminal defense attorney said the accusations could be catastrophic for Fulton County's case. And Donald J. Trump just shared on his platform, he said this, has everybody seen the revelation just announced in the great state of Georgia that the Fulton County District Attorney, Fannie Willis, who, who indicted your favorite president, me, <laughs> Trump talking, obviously not me, I'm talking about Trump, but I just pictured Trump saying me, <laughs> and many other people and patriots allegedly hired and, ex and exorbitantly paid a romantic partner to prosecute the 45th president of the United States of America and then financially benefited from their relationship. In other words, he was paid a fortune and then took quote unquote beautiful Fanny on expensive but all paid for by Georgia vacations to far away lands. Fanny Willis is getting allegedly exposed because obviously it's not, you know, this stuff. I, I, I mean, it. We'll see, we'll see what happens, but it seems pretty bad for Fannie Willis today. Now, Trump just gave a speech in Iowa. I wanna to touch on this real quick. He said winning in 2024 uh, would be legendary. Donald J. Trump hinted at the potential glory of a 2024 presidential victory in November, calling such a prospective win legendary while speaking to Iowans this past weekend in the great Hawkeye State. He said, this will be legendary, referring to how incredible a 2024 win would be in comparison to his incredibly successful 2016 and 2020 presidential campaigns. I wanted to play this little video. I don't know if there's music or not, but let's see if there is. Oh no, there's no music. I always hate when they blast music. Well, I don't hate it, but. It just, you know, I can't play it on my show because copyright, but here's Trump in Iowa. Listen up, or let's take a look at this. This is beautiful. Wow. Well, thank you very much. I want to tell you that was a hell of a trip I just took out. Wow. I, guys, look how beautiful that is. People are chanting USA. People are excited. USA, USA, USA. USA. Do you see any of this, any remotely close enthusiasm for Joe Biden? No, people are happy, people are hopeful. Instead, you got Michelle Obama going, oh my gosh, I'm so scared of what might happen in 2024 with Trump. Michelle Obama's going on, and then you got Kamala Harris, oh my gosh, Donald Trump. They're, they're freaking out, they're scared. 
Republicans, conservatives, they're, they're happy. They're singing, they're chanting, USA. This is beautiful, my friends. So anyways, wanted to share that quick, awesome update with you all. I think it's pretty, pretty powerful stuff. And let's just say things are looking very, very good for Donald John Trump. Let me know your thoughts with this one. Take care and God bless.